Now it's big, bold and bright. A London muralist honors immigration art murals that go viral on social media as he immortalizes the Andy Warhol of Marrakesh. VOA's Caroline Turner has more. Spray can in hand, British Ghanaian artist Nikwe Jep Dussain applies the final touches of color to his latest mural, enlivening an otherwise drab side street in East London. His mission is to paint a positive picture, literally, of immigrants in Britain in an era when he feels they are increasingly maligned by gentrification, Brexit, and the rise of nationalism. I'm a visual artist. Um, I started painting in the street um, via the graffiti scene in 1985. Trepp's latest mural depicts a British Moroccan artist who is known as the Andy Warhol of Marrakesh. The subject of this particular painting is Hassan Hajjaj. Hassan owns a, sh um, a shop um, around the corner called Larash. And um, Hassan's been here for years, um, way before um, shortage became the shortage that it is now. And he, um, his work is a fusion of his um, Moroccan background with um, pop. The muralist wants to use his rising profile to showcase these community champions. The series is about mi migration yep. and the motiv motivation is um, gentrification in terms of like um, with all the changes happening we really have to understand that the, the, the communities are the soul of the communities. He paints from his own photographs and credits his vibrant and joyful style to something in his subconscious and background. With Brexit and then with things that I'm experiencing with gentrification, essentially I was just inspired to um, make some work about celebrating the people who make so many positive contributions to where I live, which is London. Drep, a father of one and a former graffiti artist and art teacher, has produced his work on streets around the world. In London, he gets informal agreement to convert walls into canvases, often just knocking on people's doors to ask permission. His You Are Enough portraits project, completed last year, went viral across platforms like Instagram and Twitter and was covered by British media. Carolyn Turner, VOA News, Washington.